Well, Nathan, it's victory against Stafford Rangers this evening. It certainly wasn't pretty, but the main thing is you got the three points. Yeah, I don't think it was ever going to be pretty. Um, we started off with a obviously a strong wind. Pitch looked amazing. Um, you know, but it's had some stick the last few weeks with the weather, and it it, it did cut up. It was it was clarty. It wasn't conducive to playing nice free flowing football. But yeah, we've we've grounded out, and you know we've had a clean sheet, and it's a, it's a most welcome three points. But. Yeah, in the first half in particular, it seemed that Whippers took a while to get going. We eventually had that, that spell where Brad Fuse hits the cross and then Jake McGrattan fires over the bow on the, yeah. on the rebound as well. But that was kind of it, so it was a bit of disappointing in terms of that the lack of chances created there. Yeah, well, we had a, I think it was a, probably a 10-minute spell uh, midway through the first half when we applied the pressure. Um, they sat back and you know we were playing some decent stuff. And If you wanted it to fall to anyone six yards, that would have been Brad. Um, he was connected with it a bit too well at the crossbar. Juniors obviously gone through um, and some last ditch challenges. We got in a few times, half chances, but it was it was a game few and far between the chances. And, and like I said, they've not had many at all either. So poor game, poor game. But sometimes you've got to grind them out. And like I say, this um, this month December, it's, it's just about getting three points on the board. Yeah, and the flip side as well is on the whole staff have put it in credit too much. But the, again, they had a bit of a, a bit of a spell. It was almost from Whitby's own of own making, really, wasn't it? Where they failed to clear and uh, that allowed them to get a few shots in and goal. Yeah, mistakes. It's it's going to happen on this pitch, and, and the weather. Obviously, they were trying to turn as they were going long, um, route one stuff, and that that worries defenders. And it, you know, the way the pitch is, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not going to be level when when the ball's bouncing. And um, yeah, we had a, a few missed kicks in there, but listen, fair play to them to put the pressure on us. Um, we wanted to do a bit more of that as well in the second half, and I think that's where the goal come from. So it was always going to be decided by mistakes, I think. Yeah, and in terms of the second half as well, as you'd expect, of Stafford's situation, I was going to defend quite deep, and it's yeah. kind of really down to it, but to try and break him down, eventually that moment did come, real moment of quality from Junior Mondella, just sort of lying around the ball and lash into the bottom corner. Yeah, well, Junior's, Junior's, I think he might be our top scorer, he's somewhere near Brad um, in the goal charts, and you've got to leave people like that on the pitch, because there's there's always that, that moment of, you know, class, and uh, he, he, you know, he's followed the ball, he's read it, and it's, it's a great goal, the keeper's not got a chance. Yeah, and uh, as well, it was good to see that once again the the effectiveness of the set pieces were getting that ball in there, and the defenders willing to get themselves up and get the knockdowns it far as well. Yeah, well, it's listen, it, it's it's the way you've got to play the game. At, you know, when the when the pitch is like it is and the conditions like they are, you've just got to apply pressure on the opposition, and they've they've tried to do it with us. We've handled it quite well, albeit there was a few mistakes like they didn't capitalise on, and we've done exactly the same to them. And. It's not one for the purists, don't be wrong, it's it's, it's not, not a nice watch, it certainly isn't from the sideline, but lads have got to work hard, they've got to win first balls, got to win second balls, it's a it's a typical Northern Premier League football game in the winter, um, and I'm, I'm just I'm just proud of the lads, the, the way they've come through it. Yeah, and as well, the defensive side of things, as much as you weren't tested too much, I suppose the, that was largely down to the way that we did defend you know, from the front and cope well with physicality of the staff, of course. Yeah, well, I think I think Fuse has done well led from the front. Obviously, played against two two big centre halves. Um, ultimately, at the other end, you know, Roy's a very dominant centre half as as is Harrison, um, and they played up against a big boy in Blissett, who you know he's, he's going to cause problems for any team in this league. He's, he's really hard to defend against, but again, they've, they've overcome the challenge, and you know, as a group, they've they've done really well against him. Yeah, and then it's back at home again on the Saturday. Marine, mm. the visitors, and that one. Uh, and in a way, it was a different type of match because, you know, unlike Stafford, who were five miles at the bottom of the table, Marine got their own playoff aspirations. So that perhaps is the type of match that suits me a bit more sometimes. Well, they're a top team. I think that's the first thing. Um, they're always going to be up there. Neil's got a, a brilliant team together. Um, we had the perfect performance over there at the beginning of the year. We were very, very clinical on the day. Um, but it was a very, very even game. They had their chances. We had ours. We took ours. Um, but you're right, we've got aspirations as well of, of, of hopefully getting into those playoffs. That's that's the aim. And it's going to be a tough game, but listen, we're on home soil and they know they're going to be in for a tough game as well. But it's a juicy tie for the for the neutral. Yeah, in terms of team selection as well, um, we saw a couple of changes. Well, just, sorry, just the one change at the start level, Brad Fuse starts. And as you mentioned, you were pleased with how, how well he performed. And I suppose the key thing is at the moment, despite the tough conditions, the players on the whole are coming through unscathed. Yeah, I think um, we, we had that game at base for a few weeks back, which was which was bad for us, picking up a, two two quite bad injuries really. But this time of year, you're thankful every game coming out with no injuries because of the pitches, they're heavy and the the games are physically tough for ourselves. Obviously, two games a week, it, it's it's quite hard on the boys. But um, yeah, this summer we're going into a tough period now. Uh, that starts on Saturday, and then we've got Boxing Day and obviously New Year's Day through the festive period. 
you know, hopefully touch wood, uh, we've got a little bit of luck on the side, but you know, we're in for we're in for a tough tough festive period. How much nerve and 